Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Okay, so today is another what if. Today it is what if Raditz had survived Pico's special beam cannon. So in this scenario, we're going to say Raditz didn't throw Gohan into his space pod. He just knocked him out and threw him to one side. So during the fight with Goku and Piccolo versus Raditz, this goes basically as normal. But then Gohan senses Raditz beating his father to death and wakes up. So his rage kicks in and he headbutts Raditz like he normally does. This is when Raditz he quickly recovers and fires a blast straight at Gohan and he is dead so straight away Raditz has killed Gohan this gets Goku mad and he quickly regains his strength and grabs Raditz and shouts to Piccolo fire your attack now so Raditz he flies this time and the attack skins Piccolo fires his special beam cannon upwards and it skims Raditz into the side but the attack curves and hits Goku who is already injured so it vitally damages Goku so it's a fatal blow for the Saiyan and he dies but Piccolo says to Raditz who pretends to be dying Unlike Goku, you won't get Wish back. His friends will gather our Dragon Balls and he will be brought back with his son. Raditz then slowly gets up and says, I'm not going to die. I'll be back in a year and I'm bringing some more Saiyans. Because in shock, I thought that attack would finish you. Well, Namekian, it looks like you missed. You, all you did was kill Kakarot and just weaken yourself. Next time we meet, I won't spare you. So Raditz is just talking big because he's just received a very serious wound. He's barely alive. But he manages to make it over to his pod. As he knows Piccolo doesn't have the strength to finish him off either. Whereas if Krillin and Roshi came a bit earlier. They would have the strength to finish off Raditz. But they arrive just as his pod is leaving. Piccolo says to them. He's coming back. And he's bringing two more Saiyans who he said is stronger than him. Gather your friends and go train with Kami. I'm going to train. You need to get strong enough to help me. So Piccolo knows that he can't win this battle on his own. And this time without Gohan. He's got a lot of work to do. So if you're wondering what's happening to Raditz. He's contacted Vegeta and Nappa through his scouter. And they meet up halfway on that bug planet. So that takes a good six months. In this time, Raditz has recovered and he has got a serious Zenkai boost. So we'd say that his power level, it's gone from, I believe it was 1800 Raditz max power level. So it shot up to 8,000, 7, 8,000 because of how severely damaged he was. I mean, he was just clinging on to life. So I'd say about 8,000. So now he's stronger than Nappa. So back on Earth, the Z fighters are all even more determined than normal. They know that Goku and Gohan have died and there are now three Saiyans on the way. 
So Mr. Popo intensifies his training a lot sooner. So this time they teach Yajirobe to fly and use his key as well. So he's going to be more useful if he turns up to the battle. And Piccolo, without having to focus on Gohan for the first few months, he's upped his training as much as he can. So he is going through the most intensive training he can to achieve some new heights. Then we go to other world. Goku and Gohan are there and Kame asks for both of them to go see King Kai. Kame has seen Gohan's potential in that fight against Raditz. But King Yama is a bit reluctant on letting Gohan go. Goku says that there is something within Gohan he can be an incredible fighter. So he allows him to join him on Snake Way. Now this will take a I'd say rather filler. Goku walked forth Snake Way and he walked going to Princess Snakes. So he makes it to King Kai's with Gohan about the same time he normally would. So back to the Saiyans. So they have already made a plan to wish for immortality. And they are on their way to Earth. Vegeta has realised that Raditz would have got a serious Zenkai boost. And he doesn't see him as such a weak fighter anymore. So he's just waiting to see what Raditz can do now. Now the Z fighters, they have gotten a lot stronger. But Kami says to Mr. Popo, they're not strong enough. Let's see how long they can last in the hyperbolic time chamber. So Yamcha and Krillin, they head in first. They only last four hours in the time chamber. So that's just a couple of months. Well, it is longer than what Goku lasted when he was a child. It's still not really much. They got a hell of a lot stronger. But it's nothing compared to what the Saiyans can achieve. So, Yamcha and Krillin have come out with a power level of 9,000 each. So they're stronger than Nappa and roughly the same as Raditz. Tien and Chaozu go in. And because Chaozu is a lot weaker and Tien is looking after him, he doesn't get as strong Tien. He starts off a little bit stronger than the other two, but because he's having to keep an eye on Chaozu in such an intense environment, he won't get as strong. He comes out with a power level of 8,000 and Chaozu 6.5. And now we get back to Gohan and Goku. They have just arrived on King Kai's planet. They have received the training from King Kai. And Gohan has learnt the Kaioken. Or Goku has mastered it. And learnt the Spirit Bomb. Gohan has learnt how to channel the energy but not how to use the Spirit Bomb. And now it's time that the Saiyans arrive. And this is where I'm going to leave it, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And please remember to subscribe. Share with anyone that you think would enjoy the video. And as always, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.